Being a firefighter is probably one of the most dangerous jobs you can have, but add solar panels to a burning building and the risks are even higher. That's one of the reasons why NYSERDA, New York State Energy Research and Development Authority, and Ulster BOCES Adult Career Education Center in Port Ewan decided to partner together and offer solar photovoltaic training workshops geared specifically for code enforcement officials, inspectors, and first responders. There's a lot of great things that come along with solar, but it also presents a new electrical system that people aren't familiar with. And so we would like to teach um, these first responders um, the basics, you know, teach them basics of solar and how to avoid any hazards that might be, you know, additional hazards that they, you know, might not know much about yet. This program not only familiarizes attendees with the different types of PV systems out there, but it also covers the hazards associated with them. There is a couple of concerns we had from the fire department side as to what happens in the event of a fire. Uh, I've been told today these panels stay energized, so whether they're still on the building or if the building collapsed, then they're still be very aware that there still could be a possibility of getting an uh, electrical shock from them. There's not really an off switch for certain parts of a PV system. So one of the main messages I like to impart is there are parts of the system that are going to be hot even once you've turned the power off to the house. And so we just really want to educate them on, on to which wires will, will still have voltage even if you've disconnected the service to the house. New York State is currently fifth in the country for solar jobs and it's growing. And many local code enforcement officers agree, saying the number of solar applications crossing their desks have quadrupled within the last year. So they are looking to up their game in their solar knowledge. I do a lot of plan review for solar uh, the PV arrays that are going in, in Kingston and um, we depend on third-party um, certification after it's finished for us. Once we're done we just assume that it's done correctly so uh, it seemed beneficial for me to come in and actually learn more of what I should be looking at when I walk through a project afterwards. Um, we deal with a lot of solar panel uh, applications for permits down in the building department uh, and we're very limited as to how to proceed with this. We have some requirements as far as uh, engineering specifications that we have to get in order to issue the permit and then and uh, finally an underwriter's electrical inspection and then we can close out the permit but there's very little that my department does except see the paperwork go by and it's a, it's a growing entity out there that more and more people are getting solar panels put on their houses. The main goal of the program is to help make solar inspections uniform, efficient and safe. Uh, I now actually have a, a list that I can you know, reference and uh, in all honesty in my business checklists are vital because it's so easy to forget things so that was uh, incredibly helpful to me. It's a chance to catch mistakes before they can you know, risk people's health or property. Um, you know, it's the chance to do that and um, there's already processes in place to do the inspection. We just want to make sure they're done well and, and done completely so that you know, we can feel that we have a safe system. For more information on upcoming solar PV workshops, call Ulster Boses at 331-5050.